Now another thing to keep in mind, if you're having trouble, troubles with a cylinder and it might become a bowl, one thing is speed kills. Once it's open, speed will whip it out and make it into a bowl. Another thing that makes it a bowl instead of a cylinder is that inside hand thinks it's the bomb and the inside hand will push out and it will just stretch it out. It will just press and be like, hey, hey, I'm the boss, I'm still the boss, but it's not the boss. The right hand is the boss and to get that height, your goal is to keep a volcano shape or a Hershey kiss shape as long as possible. If it starts to get wide, get your hands wet, put your palms on either side, let it rotate. Sometimes you can hook your thumb around the lip and ultimately what you're gonna do is slowly bring that angle back. You start, wanna start right beneath the problem. So I'm just gonna let spin, 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 rotate, 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 compress my lip and I am back in that volcano shape. All right, we'll do one more pull and we'll talk about the rib tool. Reach in there while it's spinning. Never touch your clay if it's not spinning. Squeeze the thickness at the bottom. Now, cylinders, I think, are one of the hardest forms on the wheel, so that's why I like to start my beginners with a cylinder, because if you can throw a cylinder, then you can pretty much throw anything. I'm gonna press my lip. I'm gonna reach in, smooth the bottom. So this exercise is great practice just to be able to control the height. Reach in while it spins, always while it's spinning. So from cylinders, then we'll do bowls and we'll do plates and trimming. Stay tuned.